Good morning. I slept pretty good. Um, at some point, I had to fly off, the rain fly off. And then I just woke up to like big gusts of wind. And I jumped out and I was like, I don't know. It was just like, it got crazy windy. So I was like, I feel like rain's gonna come so I put the rain fly on <sighs> we got rain early this morning I woke up early and as soon as I woke up it started raining like the exact time I woke up and I took it as a sign so we slept in so yeah Anyways, we're gonna get up. <sighs> the mosquitoes are crazy. Look at them all. There were so many more this this morning. Uh, anyways, but we're gonna get up. And, uh, Make some food. Hey, why did you get up? Hi, Monty. <laughs> Hi! Look what you got. You got crap in your butt. Mm. Oh, the mosquitoes are I put my wet, stinky wet clothes back on because um, that's usually how I roll. When I get like, you know, I've got my one set of clean clothes. I don't bring a ton of clothes out with me, so I've got one clean set of undies. Uh, I don't want to get those nasty too. So, I mean, these are these are washed, the undies at least, but they're wet. So we'll dry them out with our body heat. Bring it here, Monty. Bring it here, you stinker. You just thrashing the stick around like a monster. Anyways, we shouldn't dilly dally too long. Uh, we got a Larry to catch today, so I guess let's just let's just try to do this kind of quick. Cause, well, I wish the clouds would stay because don't they move. No. Oh. It's rain. A little bit of rain. Might be rainy today. 
Anyways, this cloudy stuff is good for for catching a Larry. Give it here. Give it here. Oh, so let's kick off the coffee. Cue. Cue the coffee oatmeal sequence. That's what it is. Cue the coffee oatmeal sequence. Let's do it. Soupy. Oh. I just took a morning poop. There's nothing like when you gotta go and the mosquitoes are just a swarm. You kinda gotta do a dance where you just like clap your sides and like just keep moving and shaking or else they're gonna bite up your bum. You know that first sip of coffee is always just hits the spot you know. Well, if we could stay kind of cloudy like this, that'd be, I feel like that'll be a better our chances for Larry, but either way, we still got a little bit of packing up to do, and then we're going to go hunting, hunting for a lurry. Oh. You got all sorts of different flavors of oatmeal. Today I went with maple brown sugar. That's still kind of hot. Feels like it's going to be a warm one today. I feel like once we get to the middle of the day, these clouds are going to break and it's going to be a hot, sunny one. I just got that feeling. You know? Yeah, the sun's about to peak out right now, but then we got more clouds coming. I wouldn't mind if it was like a little bit of a rainier day. But, so right now the plan is today, get to that lake, hunt for Larry, find a campsite, and then we're gonna make a big old fire tonight. I know we haven't had fires the past couple nights, but you know, sometimes you have them. I know it seems crazy to come out here and not have fires, but Sometimes, it's just, I don't feel like making a fire, you know? That's just how it is. Well, I'm going to let my oatmeal cool off there and then chug it down, finish packing up here, finish my coffee, because this is nice and the right temperature. 
And we're going to quickly get packed up and get out of that water, get the paddle and portion and fishing because we need to catch a Larry today. So, let's do it. Over here? Here? Whoa. There we go. Gotta do one last double check on you. We are off. What I just did there, and I always do it before I leave every time, is a double check. And I encourage you, all of you, if you go camping, or you're staying at a place and you're not returning there, do a double check right before you leave. Just do, a, it takes 10 to 20 seconds max to just walk back look around see if you left anything behind and uh yeah any trash anything it really makes a difference there's been a few times where i've definitely been like oh shoot and i've seen like a pocket knife that i might have dropped or something i picked up little things i've never left anything crazy i did leave my tackle box this <laughs> this camo tackle box one time i had to hide from a rainstorm i got called in by a couple uh guys that helped me out let me stay there. Me and Monty were just, it was just crazy downpour and the site was taken. <laughs> and uh, I left my camo tackle box in like a bush, but I went back and got it. Yeah. So just, just do everyone a favor, double check. Not only will you not lose your stuff, but you'll get any trash you might miss. Well, 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 today is our Larry the Lake Trout hunting day. Now, if you're newer to the channel, you might not really get what's the, what's the big fuss about Larry the Lake Trout? Huh? What's so big deal about Larry? Well, this whole rivalry started back in the day. So what, had, what I did is I planned an entire 10 day wilderness trip around catching Larry the Lake Trout. I planned it the last final 10 days of the season. I was like, all right, Usually the end of the season is really good. You can usually catch lots of Larry's, catch them all day, not a problem. So I planned this trip expecting to just Larry after Larry after Larry. And what had happened is I didn't catch a single Larry. I went the entire trip casting, trolling, jigging, whatever, trying to catch Larry, going through tons of lakes all over the place on a long, long trip. And I was moving far. Um, didn't catch a single Larry. I didn't even know if I had a Larry bite. And then it came to the final day. The final evening. I was, I went to this lake, uh, this one lake, the last attempt. It was like the last, we had like a half hour of light left. The final day of the season. The final day of the trip. And I took my first cast. And this is what happened. I waited all day for you, Larry. I've waited all day for you. That was my first cat. That's too good. That's too good. Um, so that just happened. That is when I learned to put the net over the boat. Even though I still don't do it sometimes. But that, that day, Larry started a rivalry with me. And that's the thing about Larry, is each one you catch, once a Larry is caught and, and you're going to eat him, he loses the name Larry until, well, he keeps the name Larry. Everyone's Larry. They're all Larry. They, I don't know where they came up with this name, but they never changed it, so, yeah. But if you've been around the channel, you, you've seen that clip before. 
that's that's when the rivalry started with the old Larry. Oh my gosh. Like these down trees. Oh my gosh, you know there's some fish just hiding in there waiting for me to throw my lure. I get to you. We gotta catch Larry today. We caught that Larry. I gotta stop piping up Larry. We're not it, it could go bad. Too close. All right, let's take care of our one and only portage for the day. Ready, Monty? I promise it's only one. We don't have to do this all day. You're gonna get the breeze in your face all day. Let's do it. the evening it's a little breezy but that ain't gonna stop us from trying trolling Larry's okay no sir I mean if it gets crazy we're gonna have to pick somewhere out of the uh, wind a little bit there's lots of little islands on this lake it's a big old lake there's lots of ground to cover so what we're gonna do here let's see we gotta go around here around here Okay, we've got we've got to paddle a little ways before we can set a line because it's kind of shallower in this first part of the lake. I don't think a Larry will be hanging around the shallows, but we can probably set a line and just troll it close to us for a little bit. But we might get a pita and he might snap our line. So yeah, we're just gonna get out there, set the line, search for Larry. Pretend like I got the Larry figured out. We're just gonna troll line here as well. We don't really know where where Larry's gonna be hanging out today, so we might as well try pretty much everywhere. There's no sense and no reason not to. Ooh, it's gonna be breezy when we get to the open part of the lake. Oh, let's see, it's coming from. Oh yeah, this is gonna be. We're gonna have to go. If we want to troll out of the wind. We're gonna have to go across the entire lake, battling the wind to get there, which is fine because we're trolling for Larry all day. So we will probably do that. Hello. It might be hard to see, but uh, if you'll take a note, look at the channel straight ahead of us, that little blip in between kind of near the nose of the canoe. On the right side, you have land that a fire ripped through, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago, something like that. And all that luscious green growth is just young trees. You can see a lot of the dead, the burned trees kind of just poking out that are like fire fire torn and whatnot and on the left you've got untouched natural forest that was that has not been burned recently it'll be a little easier to tell once we get a little closer but yeah it's it's kind of cool to see it when it's just like that just like on one side it's burned on the other side the fire didn't make it to it and it it's not burned that was pretty obvious 
that uh, you know the right side you can see look at all the tiny little trees all the dead fall of trees that were burned just fell over off the rocks you see all those tiny little trees up there that's all that luscious green and then you got on the left you got all these mature trees which are untouched <clears throat> <clears throat> you don't often get to see it this close where it's you know very apparent what happened on one side versus the other you can see up ahead there's like trees that are just covered in black you know they're charred still the char don't really if they're standing it's not going to break down I'm not sure when the fire was but it was a it was a bit ago, because those young trees have grown for a while. So far, no bites on the Larry. Uh, it's getting a little chilly, you know, with the, uh, the, the wind, and it's a cooler day. I'll probably put on my uh, rain jacket here soon. I just, not yet, not yet. I got a little goosebumps. But I'm surprised by how calm the weather's been, how mild the temperatures have been. I, I prefer this. I would much rather have to put on a long sleeve than to just suffer in the heat all day. This is, this is definitely a lot better temperature than I was expecting. For some reason I thought it was just going to be like 80s and just hot, but this, I'll, I'll take this any day. This is great. Now I don't mind a little sun, but I do like it cloudier and I think the fishing's better when it's like this. It might be a little breezy, but it's a big open lake so it's, it's really not too windy today. But we're almost to a really promising drop off that I'm kind of looking forward to. And there's a campsite nearby right near the drop off. If we like the look of it, it looks like there's going to be a decent sunset and the fire pit's not going to just get blasted by wind. We might stay there and then I can even just cast a spoon right from the campsite into a drop off. Worst case scenario if we don't catch anything. Droplets of rain have started. Huh. Imagine that. Looks like in the next hour these clouds are gonna pass and we're gonna have blue skies. They're starting to peek through. I, I kind of figured the uh, clouds would break today. Wasn't sure what time, but seems to just be that day that way every day you know you get some clouds little little droplets of rain and then you get some sunshine some clouds good about this we're about to go right near our first good drop off that it looks like I think there'd be fish here or a Larry here and the Sun's about to break out into blue skies I think we're gonna catch that transition where the Sun hits the water and it's gonna like hit my chartreuse slayer and then the, the legs are gonna be like oh they're gonna be like I need to eat that right away so we're just gonna get out of the way for sure and then set our line back like a hundred hundred fifty feet go by this drop off we might even do a few passes. Well, we might not need more than a few passes. We might just need one. Who knows? I can taste Larry. You can smell him. Or that's my stank. Give me that. All right, Larry. Sun's about to break out now. Oh, and it's getting like calm. Larry, I need you to bite here. Come on now. Let's try something. Let's try a little something. A little trick I like to do usually works 0% of the time. Five. 
four, three, two, one. Fish on. Always remember, safety first. Ooh. Whoa, there's like a whole bunch of huge fish. Whoa. Anyways, we need to find Larry. We need to find that Larry. We're gonna go with the old tri swivel. Tri swiveler. <sighs> Definitely drops right down. Get this out. Blue flies. Well, we've been trolling for a minute here. Uh, I did the chartreuse slayer by itself. Now I'm doing the chartreuse slayer with the uh, weight, so it's down there. Uh, no bites so far. We're going by a little point here. And then we're going to cruise in this bay with some steep drop-offs. And after we cruise through here, if we don't have any bites, then we're going to take a lunch break, pick out a campsite, and set up a little bit, then head back out. There's some more fishing, gather some firewood. Probably gonna have a fire tonight regardless. Uh, we just need to get some firewood, but Larry's still the main focus. I still have faith. I probably should have got a little early this morning, but you know, sometimes you just wanna sleep in when you're out in the woods and it's just beautiful. You got a rain, and you can hear the mosquitoes and see them, and they're just like swarming. And you're just like, eh. So, well, we're just gonna keep paddling around. I've seen a lot of campsites, there's been a few good ones, but haven't found the one yet. Not yet. I think we got a fish. I can't tell anymore. Oh, he's still there. <sighs> Monty, sit down. Sit down, Monty.
feisty. There you go, Gwenty, calm down. Whoa! I don't know, that feels almost like a pike. It's very feisty, whatever it is. Come on. Oh, it's super feisty. That's a nice pike. Oh, jeez, don't jump in the boat. Dang. Dang. My hopes were up very high. Dang it, I thought it was a Larry. Why? Stop trying to jump in my boat. We're not eating pike. Not today. Let's retie that. All right. All right. I'm gonna let him go. He was just stunned there for a minute. He's gone now. Dang it. I so thought we had a Larry. Oh. But the way he was just ripping made me think that's why I was just saying, oh, it might be a pike. Oh, we're getting that foggy lens again. Oh well. All right, we're over 140 feet of water. I let out as much line as I can with the sinker on there. So we're, we gotta be down deep. I know lake trout like it deep. They do come up to the shallow, as you've seen. When I just had the chartreuse slayer on there, that, that only gets like 15, maybe 20 feet deep. I don't really know if letting out like 100 feet of line helps it, but with this sinker on here, we gotta be down to at least 30. I mean, I'd hope more than that, but we'll see. We got a lot of line let out and we're over some deep water. I'm gonna slow down a little bit for minutes at a time and just kind of let it sink and then we'll speed back up. And we'll just kind of like, we're in a big bowl where it's super deep. And we're just gonna play around here and we're gonna make a big loop in this area and see if we can pick something up. We got our fish for the day, but that's not what we wanted been trolling for like I don't know two and a half maybe three hours something like that we've been trolling for a while only got the pike uh, so I think I saw a spot that looks like a decent campsite so we are going to head there give Monte a break give my butt a break uh, eat some snacks get some water hydrate refresh set up a little bit and then we're gonna head back out I think I should probably try a spoon it's so sunny and the flash would definitely bring him in a little bit so I think I might switch to a spoon my battery died yeah so I was saying is I think I might try a spoon because the flash will definitely attract him from a little further the chartreuse slayer like if they see it I'm, pr I'm very certain they're, they're gonna bite it but the flash of a spoon on a sunny day like today will definitely bring them in from a little further, I think. It'll be a little bit more like they'll see the glare, kind of like a fish, and then be more likely to bite. So we're gonna try that next. Yeah. But yeah, we should, we're definitely gonna set up right up here. Okay. Okay. I brought you a little present, Monty. Before we, before we go, to, okay, 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 you want it? He's like, I'm, I'm, but I'm dry, but I'm, but I'm dry, but okay. 
That was pretty good. That was pretty good. We got a nice sandy beach here. That's always a plus. Good boy, Monty. Why do you why do you bring the stick in like that? <laughs> that seems like a choking hazard. If it hits the ground, it hits it right down your throat. Jeez. Why are you holding it like that? It doesn't look right. Ready? For good old Monty Phelps swim? Get it, Monty. He's having fun now. Oh, what? Don't you yell at me. Oh, feels good to get these things off. Now we're getting that hot sun. We're gonna set up right here, and then we can try to sleep with the fly off tonight. And we can wake up to this beautiful view, you know? That sounds rather pleasant. We're gonna, we're converting to shorts here. And that portage today, I banged my knee pretty good. Uh, it's just a little beat up. Oh, we're wearing shorts for the first time of the trip. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Monty. Now it's time for some snacks. Set up, we got water going. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I'll be honest, when that first fish was on, I was almost swing, singing a victory song there. But, I'll bring it to you, Monty. Oh. Well, it's a little dirty, but I don't think you mind. Nothing better than extra sharp cheddar cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm. So we're on what? Day four? Mm. Nope. You eat that pretzel or no checks mixed? How dare you waste that pretzel, sir? I want the beef turkey. Tell me where you're getting that out. Troll? Good boy. Troll? Sit. Sit pretty. Pretty good. Use me for support. Sit pretty. Oh, come on. Right here. Right here. Oh, sit pretty. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. It's easier when you use me for support. Pro. Speak. Speak. Good boy. I was I was pretty good. Do one more. One more. Speak. Good boy. Ooh. Scare me with those chompers. All right. Let's see if we can do a quick game, Monty. Over here. Over here. 
Press sit. Stay. Find the treats. Stay. We're going to hide three pieces of beef jerky. And I'm going to remember where they are. And Monty's going to search for them. I think he's cheating. He's looking. We'll make him, we won't make them too hard. Find the trees, find the trees, go, 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 go. something. Oh, 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 he's got one. There he is. Good job, Monty. You got one of three. Find them treats, Monty. Oh. Oh, did he pick up the scent? No. Monty, that's where you started. You would have saw me put him there. Oh, he picked up a scent. He picked up a scent. He smells it. Oh, 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 so close, Monty. Got it. Good job, Monty. I'll give you a general help to catch the scent, okay? Alright, Monty. Find the tree. He's gonna pick up the scent here. There it is. Good boy, Monty. Good job. You found them. That's it. I only had three. Good job, Monty. You did it. You did it. Monty, this is not a blanket. I'm just drying out my tarp. It got wet a couple days ago, okay? Monty, 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 stop, 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 Monty, what's that out there? What's that out there? Wait, you see? Monty, what is that? What is that? No, look, look, Monty, look, what is that? Monty, right there. Monty, get it, Monty. Sorry, come here. Is that a jog yet? Oh, I'm sorry. He was jumping up and I was going to pet him and he went pop into my hand. I'm sorry, Monty. I'm sorry. You wanna, you wanna give me kisses on my face? Right here. I'd also, oh, I'd also like to note that uh, I must be doing a lot of extra recording on this uh, trip because I already used up an entire 200 gig SD card on the GoPro. 
just the GoPro. And we're on what, day? Day four. Huh? That's a lot of footage. We've got everything all set up, tarps all dry, drying out the muck boots. Uh, now all that's left to do is we've got five hours of light left. We have got to get firewood and catch ourselves a Larry the Lake Trout. Firewood's gonna be easy. Larry, I don't know. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jump back in that boat. We are going to troll for, uh, with a spoon, a little bit. We're gonna head back to another drop off that was back that way, cross past those little islands over there. And then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna jig off the bottom for like a half hour to an hour, if we don't catch anything by then. And then at that point, if we don't still don't have any Larrys, we're gonna get some firewood, grab some pieces, then we're gonna troll with the chartreuse slayer for the rest of the night. And, I hope we at least catch a little one. Even if it's a little Larry. Something, I gotta taste that sweet, sweet Larry. And if we don't catch Larry tonight, we're still not keeping a pike. We'll go for a Walter or a Larry on another lake. I don't think, that, I think this is the last chance for Larry. Today. Yeah. If I don't catch him today, we'll probably end up catching him tomorrow morning on our way out. That's how it usually seems to go. Anyways, let's just put away this stuff and let's get back out there. Keep in mind how large and chonky Monty normally looks and just how you can see how actually thin he is when he gets out of this water. Look at this, look at that skinny little doggy. Look at that, you can see his, his definition, he's skinny. Monty, where are you going with that stick? Monty? Monty, here, it's all fur. Oh, jeez. Okay, one more. I'll, I'll let you decide. You want me to throw it? Okay. I need a, I need a better confirmation. You want me to throw it? You want me to throw it? Okay. Get him, Monty. He's having fun. All right, Monty, if you want special treat dinner, we need to get back out there, and do some work. I just set my line. I can't tell if it's like dragging that hard or we hit bottom or I got a fish on. It still feels real heavy. Dang, okay. Oh, it was just the weight of the spoon. Must have just been hitting bottom. Uh. 
All right, let's just try some chicken. I was just jigging this and I was reeling it up and there's a lake trout following it. <laughs> it followed it right up to the surface and then took away, took off. I was just trying to move in between this channel here. Oh, that hurts so bad. <laughs> that was a good size Larry too. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. Makes me want to slowly troll the tri line with the spoon down there. All right, what we're gonna try right now is because because I was I had that lure deep and I was just kind of going off the bottom when he was following it. I got the chartreuse slayer set up with the tri tri swivel, and I'm just gonna go real slow and let it be near the bottom and way down deep and we're just going to troll there's a little channel here where it's pretty deep in between we're going to kind of get it right off the bottom Let's see if we can pick one up like this slow. I know they like a little speed, but I want to keep it deep. All right, so we just had that one lake trout following the big uh, two ounce jig. Um, what I'm going to do now is just do a quick, put on just the straight chartreuse slayer. I think that's what we're just going to run the rest of the night. Uh, it's the only thing we've caught them on. I think that white jig, it just didn't have enough action for the thing to want to bite it. It was just following it like, what the heck? It's not like moving. I was just kind of bringing it in slowly. So the action of the chartreuse slayer is probably what does it justice. So we're just going to go with that and we're just going to make a few passes here. Then probably look for firewood and then do that some more. Come on, Larry. Where are you at, Larry? Come on. Whatever Larry was falling at, just just look at the new one. I wish I could catch a Larry, I wish I could catch a Larry, I wish I could catch a Larry so I could eat him. <sighs> Get a fish on. We had one on. Oh, it's still there. Oh, come on. there. Oh yeah, come on, 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 
I'm so nervous. <laughs> there. He's not pulling. Oh, I think he's still there. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a Larry. Yes. Sweet, sweet victory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was getting so nervous. I was looking at the time. I'm like, oh, we've only got three hours of light left. Like, oh, I've gone the whole day. Oh, that's a sweet, sweet Larry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> first things first, we're keeping him over the boat. We're getting him on the stringer, and then we'll, 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 we'll do that first. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, oh, feisty guy. We've got ourselves a perfect eater Larry. I would like one more of those. If I could get one more the exact same size, that would be perfect. Uh, I wouldn't want one that's like huge. I mean, I'll take what I can get. We'll feast if we have to. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna at least have a sweet, delicious victory dinner. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna get out here, set my line again. We're gonna do one more pass, and then we're going to get some firewood. And yeah, we might troll closer to camp or we might head in early. Uh, it'd be nice to pick up another one right away so then I can just get firewood and we can go relax for the evening. We've been sitting in the boat for quite a while, <laughs> all day, pretty much. <laughs> We've been trolling for hours. Yeah, all right, that feels good. I'm very happy right now. Okay, all right. It's funny how we try all that other crap, but I put on the chartreuse slayer and 30 minutes goes by and I get one. Oh, it, it never fails. It's just, I don't know why I keep trying other stuff. I just always go back to that lure. Maybe it's also that like, I know the correct speed to troll that editor. The speed that I go is like perfect for that lure. I don't know. Might, might just be all those things, or it could just be the world's greatest lure. I don't know. We'll stick with it. It's the world's greatest lure. That's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna say. Oh, the sun. It gets chilly when the sun goes behind the clouds. When it comes back out, it's nice. Monty, do you want a treat? Do you want to go for a dog park? Do you want to be a good boy? Oh, you always are a good boy. What do you mean? Do you want to fetch a stick? Do you want to go swimming? Okay. Well, you seem to be moving your head an awful lot there. I don't know which one it is. I think you want them all. Well, you're doing some of these things, okay? Do you want to eat Larry tonight? Do you want to eat Larry? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Auntie, it is time to collect firewood. Get those mosquitoes off your nose.
right, we've got a Larry. We've got firewood. We've got two hours of daylight remaining. I would like to have two Larrys for the two hours remaining for the two of us to have a two for feast. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we'll be fine with just one, but a little more is always preferred. A little bit more of that Larry. Because, you know, I do got some, some delicious fixings to go with it, and it would, you know, I don't want to be left craving more. So we're going to try for a little bit. We're probably going to give it one last hour of fishing, and I kind of want to spend the last hour of light uh, at camp, kind of just watching the sunset and relaxing. You know, sometimes it's preferred to get a little of that in. So we're going to do two loops here where I just caught them with the chartreuse slayer. And then we're going to troll our way back to camp. And that should be about an hour-ish. And then we'll process our firewood. And yeah, spark up a fire probably. I got a decent amount there. So we'll just burn, you know, just have a nice fire. I might even still cook the fish with my stove just because it cooks more evenly and I can get a little hotter. We'll see. Oh, we got a fish on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh oh. Either it's swimming right towards us, it's small, or it's not there. I still think it's there. I still think I feel weight. But I don't feel a fight. It's got to still be on. Oh yeah, it's still on, whatever it may be. You know what we want it to be. I feel like it's swimming right towards us. <sighs> Come on. Oh, there's a little resistance. Ooh, there's a decent amount of resistance. It's staying down. This might be a big one. Uh oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Simmer down. Yes! Yes! We are feasting tonight! Yes! Larry! <laughs> Monty's gonna get that whole other fish and this is gonna be all mine. <laughs> oh, we are feasting. Yes! Oh, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a beautiful, delicious Larry. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We've got a good amount of food now. We are gonna have a very delicious, vicious dinner tonight. Monty's gonna get to feast, I'm gonna get to feast. We're gonna get this guy on the stringer and then we are heading on our way back to camp. <laughs> we did it, Monty, we did it. <laughs> oh, makes me so happy. I was definitely getting nervous there that we weren't going to catch one. I was just like, I don't know, man. 
with the chartreuse slayer just bringing it on in you know can't ever doubt the chartreuse slayer if you're wondering what it is i'll give you the actual name it's a rapala sr6 that is what the chartreuse slayer is that is my favorite lure if i had to pick a trolling lure one lure for everything that'd be it right there and as you've seen if you watch the channel long enough it's came in many a times in clutch moments when we needed it to. And every time I seem to doubt it, you know, I try other things like spoons and stuff, and you saw, like, I was trying that thing, and I had, you just, you just put the chartreuse slayer on, you let out as much line as you can, like 100 to 200 feet, you troll, you're gonna catch things. It's, it's just how, it's how it works. Yeah. And also, I've tried the SR5s, and the SR7s, and I don't know, something about the SR6 is just the perfect size. The SR5s, I've used for like bluegill and stuff, and like rainbow trout, but the SR6 is the go-to. I mean, I've, I've caught lots of walleye on that, bass, pike, everything. Auntie, you wanna go have some treats now? Now we've got an hour and 45 minutes of sunlight, so we're gonna head back to camp and just relax. Enjoy the rest of the day. Chilling. Oh yeah. Monty, we will eat the berry tonight. It will taste so good for you and me, Monty. We will eat the stinky Larry And we will put lemon and butter on the monkey Monday tea We will eat the Larry with me Yes indeed Monty Monday tea tea We will eat the Larry tonight Yes indeed Oh Monty 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 You know what you could use? You could use a little towel dryer huh? Honestly, I just couldn't tell if he was enjoying that. I mean, I think he is. I, I know he he always groans when he's like relaxing and stuff. He'll usually cry out if he doesn't like it. Groaning usually is good for Monty. He groans. Monty, get back here. No, teddy bear. Monty, it is time to process the firewood we collected. Yeah, what do you say? What do you say? Still cutting logs. 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 Logs.
Firewood. Don't you just love a beautifully neat pile of firewood just stacked perfectly? Look at how perfectly symmetrical that pile is. I mean, I couldn't have done better if I tried.
man, the sunset is probably gorgeous right now. Too bad we can't see it. I thought the sight, see, out of the sun sitting right there. Hi. Hi. You can hear the Ron Swainson's thrush. Set some over there. Ooh, I need to go check and see if my fish is being stolen by a turtle or otters. Fish is a-okay, Monty. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, my bad. That's how the saying goes. I've been fooled twice. Although, even though I first had otters steal my fish, a snapping turtle steal it again the snapper decided he wanted the perch and you're gonna get it buddy I just uh... <laughs> look he's got a big old leech on his back look at that that's a big leech well then a snapping turtle steal it a third time you stinker The second one doesn't really count. The first two times, the otter and the snapper, those were like, mmm. I was not happy about it, but I got fish out of it still. But you're just getting eaten alive. If you notice blood on Monty's nose, it's because the mosquitoes get his long, creepy, slender snout. And then I, when I wipe his face, they die. Well, <sighs> mm. <sighs> oh, it's a beautiful evening. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to flat my fish here. And we might get in cooking early because uh, I'm pretty hungry. That Larry's calling my name. Um, so I'm gonna cook it up kind of a way I've done it a bunch of times before, but kind of different. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually not cook the fish, my fish, on the stove here, or the fire. I'm gonna use my stove, and there's a reason. The reason is that I'm going to cook up my onions a little bit and get them browned, and then I'm gonna crank the heat and get it so it's super hot and try to flash fry my fish in butter and get that brown on the outside. We're gonna try our best. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm gonna go flay up my fish, I guess. And then, uh, I didn't bring a cutting board, so we'll have to, I'll have to portion it out somehow. I'll figure it out. I'm gonna go take care of that. I used my ore 
to flam up on, but look at that delicious, beautiful couple of Larry fillets. Uh, yeah, Monty's, he's gonna have the little Larry and I'm gonna have the bigger Larry. I'm gonna be true to my word, he's gonna get an entire Larry, I'm gonna get an entire Larry, and we are gonna feast. So now let's prepare the rest of the stuff and get to cooking. I know it's not the best thing in the world, but I don't got a cutting board and I don't, my fish is all on the other thing, so we're just gonna cut it right into the pan. Do my best not to dig the knife right in there. Oh, the mosquitoes are coming out. I've also got a lot of lemon I'm gonna cut up. Just get that ready. Oh, mosquitoes are getting bad. We'll just keep that here for now. Let's get this party started. Monty's going on. Okay, I'm gonna boil his in some water. And then we need to get my, I'm gonna have instant baby, or instant mashed potatoes, baby reds and some mashed potatoes as my side. For my fish. My onions on there, but we need a little butter to start. Okay, we are cooking now. now I'm gonna try to be careful today and not overdo the butter so my fish gets poached. I want it to fry. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna start my onions. We're just gonna cook them up a little bit uh, on the fire here. Get them a little little cooked up and browned. And then we're gonna bust out my little uh, jet boil, and I'm gonna crank the heat, add in some butter, get it just screaming hot, and just toss in my fish, and just fry it up. And hopefully, that'll give it some delicious brown, like kind of just fry it up and just that flavor, and it won't be poached. We'll try it, we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking no matter what's gonna happen, it's gonna be delicious. Maybe we'll just try cooking it over the fire, actually. We can just keep it hot like this. Yeah. We'll try that. We'll try over the fire, like normal. I'm just going to get the fire just going crazy when I do it. Our onions are cooking up now. I think our water's... Yep, that's boiling. All right, time to get our mashed potatoes going. These will stay hot for quite a while. I want to put these onions off the side a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Whip up our instant mashed potatoes. These are a delicious fish aside. And they stay hot longer than you think they do. So I always like to get these done early. And just let them sit, even though they'll still be hot enough to burn my mouth. I don't usually try to make soupy mashed potatoes. But I always put a little extra water in there. Alright, that fire is ripping. Those onions are cooked up. Let's add in our fish while it's hot. 
I'm going to go with another little chunk of butter. Straight off the canoe paddle, let's add in our fish. Sprinkle in a little Montreal steak seasoning. Oh yeah. Okay. And now we're Oh yeah, we're frying that fish now. Ain't no way she's poaching. Whew. That's hot. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take it off the side for a second. It's so hot. That should be all we need. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hot. Oh, that's frying, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. We'll put a little more sprinkle of Montreal. There we go. Oh, yeah. My right, Monty's coming off to the side. I'm gonna make some of this doggy food. Oh yeah, it's definitely browning up real good. I just can't do this when it's on the... Get it back on the heat, keep it frying. Gotta mangle up. Monty's mangled mush. Needs to cool now for you, Monty. Ooh, that's a nice mangled mush. Oh yeah. Ooh, this is this is close. This is real. Cool. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, we're gonna pull it off the heat for just a second. Oh yeah, that is just browning up so good. Oh yeah, okay. Just gonna fry it for another minute. We're gonna pull it off the heat and it is done. Oh, we're about to feast. Okay, let's just, oh yeah, the ones are coming out too. Oh, look at how browned up and delicious looking that is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, loons. Now, we're just gonna add in our baby reds, instant mashed potatoes. And with the fork of approval, that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is some delicious butter fried Larry the Lake Trout with some mashed potatoes. And the loons are just as excited about it as I am. Let's feast. Okay, hold on. Oh. Monty? You're the best boy. Go ahead. Oh, 
I am so excited for this. Let's just take a nice piece of lemon. Ooh, that is hot. I need... You know what, we're gonna... Until the mosquitoes get to me, it's warm next to this fire. Okay, baby. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Here we go. Oh. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh ma'am, when you get that char and that brown on there, it's so much better than if you poach a little, get a little more lemon on there. I'm not afraid of lemon and fish. There ain't much better than this. Just being out here. Loons are going crazy on a perfectly calm evening. I could do with less mosquitoes, but hey, that's the cost of being out here. It's fine. As fresh as you can get, Larry the Lake Trout, butter fried over a campfire. Mm. Monty even got to eat an entire Larry to himself. I think we did you justice, Monty. I think that's the first time he's got his entire own Larry. Maybe. Well, there's a 100% chance that I am smashing all this. I almost ate <laughs> three quarters of my Larry. It's just so dang good. Oh, it's hot. A little more lemon on there. If it seems like I'm just soaking in lemon, it's because I'm eating it all as I go through it with the lemon. Oh, mosquitoes. They're getting me. Well, we learned the trick, and that is to just have that fire going crazy, and then you throw the fish in there, and it gets that nice char in there. I've done it a couple times where I put the lemon juice in there. I've evolved over the years of how I cook fish. I used to start by having it wrapped in tin foil, 
we put a little water and lemon juice and and I'd seal it up and that I mean that was delicious as well but frying it up now and getting that char on it this is the ultimate way this is the way you got to do it and throwing those onions in there just add another little level level of flavor unless of course you're actually deep frying up and battering it that's really good too but if you don't want to make a mess with all the oil, oh, this is the way to go. I've only got two pieces left and a little bit of potatoes. Well, I'm going to shut off that light and just kind of enjoy the evening. The stars are coming out and uh, finish up here. And I'll check back in with you. We're going to definitely stay up and do a little dessert and snacking, so don't you worry. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit here. Oh, come on. You had your entire own fish. Now you want mine? What do you think this is? Hmm? Mm mm. Mm mm. Oh. Evan to Betsy. That was so perfect. It was just the right amount. That Larry would have been any bigger or smaller. If it was bigger, we might have been. You know, I could have probably done a little bit bigger, but not too much. But man, and Monty, I've been measuring. Usually he gets two cups a day, uh, but out here I give him a cup and a half twice a day, so three cups a day. Uh, and sometimes, because he's doing a lot more work, so I give him extra food. Uh, I just gave him a little bit of mashed potatoes and a little bit of extra food afterwards just to see if he's still hungry. He's eating it up, so. He definitely had a big fat meal today. He almost got his cup and a half of food plus that Larry and a little mashed potatoes. Yeah. Mmm. Man, I scraped my plant pan clean. I could have probably eaten a couple more bites. But now I got room for dessert. Mmm. Before we try one of these fruit nut bars. I'm curious about this it's called a Knopper with a K by Stork Schoner from Hamburg Let's try this from Germany Mmm Mm-hmm. It's like those little wafers with the frosting, but there's a little more substance to it. Really good. Mm. Mm. I'm going to follow that up with a Haichu. Haichus are kind of like Starburst. Captain Teeny Trout showed them to me. But they're a little less sugary. So, I like to mix them up. You know, have a couple Haichus and then some Starburst. So far, everything's working out just all right. Weather's been decent, not too hot. We saw a moose. We caught Larry. We were planning on catching Larry. We're having zero fish release regret. Seen loons and beavers. And man, we even caught sun today, and it was like, it was like, the best way to catch sun because every time the sun went behind clouds, I was a little chilly, and then the sun would come back out, and I was like warmed up again. And it was like, <laughs> it was pretty perfect.
normally I can't have my shirt off, you know, usually, um, this time of year it's like, you're just sweltering, but I haven't really been sweltering, did I swelter that one day? I was pretty warm yesterday, in the, in the midst of it. And now that we're done with Larry's, I'm going to use a lot more of those leeches. I've been carrying them along and they're fine. But leeches are more for bass and walleye. And uh, we'll be targeting those in the next few days. Because we're done with the Larry Lakes. We'll try to catch one on our way out still. So. Why not? But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just sit here and eat candy. Relax by the fire, enjoy the night. I don't think we, do we gotta get up early tomorrow? Tomorrow might be a long day. I'm gonna go grab my maps. We're gonna take a peek, see what we got going on tomorrow. Come on in, Monty. This guy's being a little pushy here. He was, I was trying to set up the, the battery died. Oh. oh, anyways, as I was saying, this guy was being a little pushy here and I was trying to set up the tent and he was just like, <laughs> pushing into me just to get in the tent and he had his two little feet in the door. <laughs> it was cracking me up. He did it like four times. Just like, I'd be like, Monty, get back. And then he'd like step back for a second and then he'd put his little feet in there and be like, I'm coming in. He's tired. <laughs> Monty. Ah. We got a few mosquitoes in here, but we got the rain fly off tonight. We're going to be sleeping under the stars. Once I shut off these lights, you'll kind of see the stars, even through this tarp or this netting. But in the morning, hopefully, it, if it rains, I wake up and I the fly is like kind of staked out and I just kind of throw it over quick. But hopefully it doesn't so we can wake up to like the sunrise or something. Just It's kind of nice to just look at the lake through the net. But we're pooped. I'm stuffed. I'm all snacked out. So... It's time to pass out. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody.
bring my tea. My stinky doggy. doing? I got my stinky doggy here. Look, his, his face is my face. Monty, is that your overbite? Why is it so big? Why is your overbite so overbitey? It's a new day, Marty. Isn't it pleasant waking up to the loons? I slept pretty good. So did my teeth. Oh. You ready to get up, Monty? Monty got a little dribble of drool. All right. Okay, over here, Monty. Over here. Go, go, go over here. Come on. Come on. Get, stop it. All right. We're going to get up. It's a new day. It's calm out there. It's going to be a sunny one. We've got like 10 portages today, so we're going to get up. Get the back of the so let's do it. Ow! Bring it here, psycho. Give me that stick. Oh jeez! You know where it is. Yeah, exactly. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here, you bouncy little happy bunny. Yeah. I swear he enjoys, I watch him, like he wants me to try to grab the stick and then he starts swinging it. And he only, if he gets the grip on the end, he doesn't do it as much. But once he grips right here, he swings it at me. But anyways, 
It's time to kick off the coffee Q-O-B-L sequence thing. Um, if you're ever wondering how I pack up uh, when I do this, normally first thing I do when I wake up is I put away my sleeping pad, everything in the tent that can be packed, I do it first before I leave the tent. Unless I got an emergency poop, then I take care of that first. But today I took care of that. And then I normally don't throw all the stuff out, but it's a blue skies day and it's fine. So I tossed everything, I, I uh, start the coffee oatmeal sequence and then I toss everything out and I start packing my bag as much as I can. And then I'm like doing my oatmeal and stuff and then I get most of my stuff kind of bags half full by the time I'm eating and drinking my oatmeal. And then I just gotta pack a few more things and I'm done. So if you're wondering, anyways, let's cue the coffee oatmeal sequence, let's do it. I guess just go ahead. And that's fine. If you're gonna take the initiative, Monty, you just you you go right ahead. He just ate the supplements and then walked away. Yeah, you're a stinker. Yeah, you just went for the straight for the treats. <laughs> you little turd. Soupy. I'm pretty sure this is a dragonfly before it hatches. Me and Captain Teeny Trout discovered them hatching out of here. They, they come out and then they open their wings and they fly away. Pretty sure this is a dragonfly. But we're gonna get him away from my stuff so he doesn't get crushed. I don't wanna touch him. It looks all weird. I'm sure he doesn't bite, but go ahead. <sighs> Little turd. Just eating your supplements, huh? Looks like it's gonna be a nice sunny day. Blue skies. It's a little breezy and chilly right here. The wind's coming from, which way was it coming yesterday? This way? Right? Yeah, so it's coming this way now. It was going that way, now it's coming this way. So we got a little bit of a wind shift. Which is fine. That means we're going to be going into the wind most of the day, I think. 
but I don't think we're going over too many big lakes. Oh, some, just some normal sized lakes. I got crazy today. I mixed my blueberries and cream with my apples and cinnamon. <gasps> we're getting wild out here. Mmm. Normally I just go like apples and cinnamon with some maple brown sugar, but today I got, this time I got a variety pack, so I have pretty much different flavors every day. But this mix and match is pretty, it's pretty crazy if I do say so myself. I'd pass up eggs and bacon and toast or eggs benedict over to have this any day. Okay. Looks like we've got oh. ten portages today. And they're all most of them are just average portage length got some above quarter milers, below quarter milers, a couple sixteenth of a milers, you know, just a nice plethora of sizes. So, with that, we got ourselves a day today. I'm going to finish up my coffee and oatmeal, finish packing, get on that water to paddle it, portaging and fishing. Let's do it. Monty, did you make sure we got all our stuff? <clears throat> did you make sure, Monty? Because I didn't even check. I don't even know if we got my gear bag, Monty. <sighs> oh. We are off once again. All right. What's the saying? Day five, make sure to stay alive. And for that, we need to start our day by dropping the chartreuse slayer and catching a Larry. Just another quick little Larry, just quick, just to make sure we can still do it. I think we might have a fish on. I saw it hit, and then when I went to turn on the camera, it kind of went slack. I can't really tell, so either it's a small one, it's swimming right towards us, or it's not there anymore. I still think there's weight on the line. It's a lorry. We're not gonna bring them in the boat. Oh, there's definitely something on here. Oh, we've got ourselves a fish for sure. Ooh, it feels like a hefty guy. 
He's staying down. Oh, that's a nice Larry. Look at that. Beautiful Larry. Oh, yeah. He's barely hooked. All right. All right. Oh, oh, simmer down, Larry. Simmer down. Simmer down. Yeah. I ain't getting hooked today. No, no, no. Larry, I just want to show how beautiful you are. Larry, please. Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. All right, we're going to let him go. We'll try to get a fish. Monty, not now. That was a slippery rock. Ooh. Almost took me out there. they could use a good cleaning so far we're doing pretty good though as far as uh, wet muck boots go 
I usually fill up a few. That's only number two. The only thing I don't like about when you get your maku wet like that, it's not that my feet are dry, but now that we've got foraging for the rest of the day, um, when you're sloshing around, my sock starts to slip off and the sole in there uh, slips off and kind of gets all weird. So we'll have to dig around with that throughout the day around each portage. And it just, it feels weird. It feels weird. See where the heck we're supposed to go. It just looks like oh, there it is. There was a duck like one foot from us, just like right next to us. It scared the crap out of us, and we scared the crap out of it. It took off. It might have been on a nest or something, but I didn't even see it. It just started flying away. Monty jumped right up. been the one from last year. Here we've got pretty much three portages in a row. It's like portage, little teeny pond, portage, little teeny pond, portage, small lake, 
and then the little ponds continue, but we get that lake break in between. So we need to hammer out some portages, that's for sure. Whoa! Oh, it looks crazy down there. Check this out. Crazy. I probably should have given Monty his poncho, but it's just a little pond. And then we've got another portage and then we're at a lake. It's still raining, we're definitely going to put her on there. I might even put my rain pants on. This seems like a, like it might be a steady rest of the day rain, I'm not sure though. It just has that feeling about it. It's not like one of those quick sprinkles, it's just overcast. And it's just that light steady rain. We might need to switch clothes. Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here, Monty. Come here. Time, Monty. Come here. It was raining pretty good there for a minute. My pants got pretty wet, Monty got pretty wet. That portage, my maps are must be old and they didn't uh, block off. It was like some old, old portage. That's just, it was, it was a mess, it was thick. And I took it through with my bags and then my poles were getting caught on everything and then I had to, uh, I went back with an oar and uh, move my boat to the proper spot. My map must be wrong and just says the old spot. Oh well. I'll have to make a mark on my map so I remember that. Seems like the rain is lightening up now, now that we're all wet. <laughs> if you're gonna rain, just rain, it's fine.
I'm totally fine with it raining. Just don't, don't, you know, get us wet and then be like, oh, we're gonna stop now. Oh, Mother Nature, don't be like that. Just, if you're gonna rain, rain. Rain the rest of the day, I don't care. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I find this lack of rain disturbing. Sign of a bull moose rubbing his antlers on that tree. Probably rubbing the felt off or I don't know, marking his turf. another rub definitely think he's marking something saying it's his oh and another one that one's rubbed real good Ooh. man the mosquitoes are a swarm right now Just a little bit of breeze, anything. Oh, you know, some days the mosquitoes, I mean, most days actually, I just kind of ignore them and they're just like, whatever, they're there. But today they are vicious and relentless. I don't even want to wear my hat because I just want my hood up so they can't get in my ears and behind my neck anymore. I've gotten so many bites today. I feel like I've gotten about as many bites on the entire trip so far as I did today. Oh. I'm sure you can see him flying around. Monty, oh, he's got one on his face. Sorry, Monty, I'm just getting that mosquito for you. Okay. You're good, Monty. Ooh. the breeze get get them mosquitoes see ya jerks There's nothing like a good rainy day. Now that it's raining, I'd prefer to just rain the rest of the day. And if uh, the mosquitoes are bad, we'll just chill in the tent. If they're not, we'll chill under the tarp and snack. I don't mind relax with the rain. We've got two more portages. Let's take care of one of them right now.
before we do our final portage here for the day, um, the water is coming in here from the next lake. And if it's deep enough, we're going to try it for some walleye. It looks deep enough here. We'll see if it's deep enough near the moving water. Usually there's a good chance. I'm usually pretty good at catching them when they're pretty easy to catch. When they're... This looks like a decent spot. Looks deep enough here. Okay. We'll give it a shot. What the heck? What, 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 could, it, what could it hurt? This is a pretty good day for a fish. Nice calm rain. Ooh. Try to get right up in there. I'm really surprised I'm not getting a bite right now. I'll be honest. For as deep as it is, I th I'd think there'd be a a fish here. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, we're not going to sit here and make Monty suffer in the rain fishing. We're not going to catch fish, you know. So, I suppose. Let's get this final portage of the day done. I thought I was going to catch a Walter for sure. Disappointed. Alright, Monty. Go ahead. Lead the way. Go ahead, Monty. All right, good job, Monty. Portaging done for the day. Looks like it might clear up here. The rain's getting light. It's been raining for a good few hours, or I don't even know actually how long it's been raining for. Enough to get us wet, that's for sure. But yeah, it looks like it's, it's turning into almost a sprinkle. And the clouds up ahead don't look as rainy. We'll see. I'd still prefer it just rain the rest of the evening. If it clears up and gets calm, we might head out fishing. We'll see. We shall see. So if you'll recall earlier in the trip, I was talking about how I plan my portages or I plan my route so that I'm going down like in the rivers and I'm going down the whole time. Well, you can't really go down the whole time. You have to go back up. And that last lake we were on was the lowest point of the trip. So we climbed a little bit on this one and the rest of the trip is going up. And we are gonna, tomorrow's gonna be probably the longest day of the trip. It might even be a little more rough than the day before yesterday. Um, 
I don't think there's more portages. It's just each one of them is like a half mile to or a quarter mile. Like they're they're significant. Each one of them. There's only a few little bitties, and there's like 12 of them. So it's going to be a long day. It's one thing if you have a lot of portages and they're all small, but to have a lot of bigger portages, it'll be a good one. And it's going to be incline, so tomorrow's going to be rough. So we, we're definitely going to be trying to get up early once again. Well, we'll try. I'm not going to try too hard. Oh, the regular rain's coming back. So it might continue raining. I mean, I, I totally would be down with rain the rest of the day. I like my rain days. I would like a little thunderstorm. Once we get to camp, if it, we got set up a little bit, we just got downpour with the thunderstorm, that'd be sweet. I like that a lot. A lot. I love how Monty just embraces the rain. He's been passed out for the most part. <laughs> he opens his little beady eyes every once in a while. Oh. Looks like he's ducking away his head. He's getting sleepy. <laughs> he's ready for us to get to camp. He wants his dry, comfy space. <laughs> I've had enough of this wetness, Dad. Okay. Hold on. I need dryness. I need comfiness. I need I need solitude. What he doesn't understand is that once we make a dry space without a screen, we're gonna get mauled by mosquitoes probably. Because it'll be a safe spot for them. But we've got a few sites to check out up ahead. We'll see. I want a nice spot. But I mean I'm not gonna be too picky. We've got two hours and forty minutes of sunlight remaining. It'll probably get dark in prop two and a half because it's cloudy. But, uh, yeah. When we get to camp, we'll definitely throw up the tarp. You know, chill for a minute. And hope the rain continues. I just want the rain to continue. I don't know if I'm going to head back out fishing or not. I might not. We already caught our Larry today. And I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't catch a Walter at that spot I just tried. So it's making me think that they're not going to bite too good today. Even though I only tried one spot for five minutes and I'm like basing a whole other lake on that. Not the best idea, but yeah. As soon as we get here, the rain stops. What gives? It's gonna rain, rain. Ooh. Me and Monty are both wet. The mosquitoes are swarming like crazy. So uh, we've got hour and a half of light left. Uh, I've got a slight chill about me. So the plan right now is I'm going to set up, hopefully, oh, it looks like it's starting to pick up raining again. All right, well, I'm going to hide away that DSLR. I'm going to set up the tarp quick. 
Uh, we're going to get water. We're probably just going to chill in the tent tonight, but... Yep. Okay, the rain's coming back. I don't want my DSLR to get ruined. Doggy! Oh! It's looking like it's going to be a nice evening. Um, so yeah, we're going to... I'm just, I'm just setting up right now. I'm just wet. So what I'm going to do is finish up setting up here. I'm probably not going to do all the stuff inside, but we're going to work on getting dry next. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I will stay out here as long as I'm not getting mauled to death by mosquitoes. Right now they seem okay, but over there by the tarp, it's pretty bad. But I guess I could sit out here, I don't know. Who knows what's going on? Who knows? All I know is I got the tarp and the tent set up. The rest of it. We're both soggy. We're soggy wet. Mm. You wouldn't like this. I suppose I should, well I got the sun, I should hang some stuff. All right. sunset here. Oh, definitely going to need to hang dry a few things here. I think I'm going to risk it and put on dry clothes and Looks like it's gonna clear up and be blue skies here, so I'm gonna I'm risk it and put my dry clothes on. I'm gonna get my camera out of the water though, quick. And then I should be good and not need, I can just stay dry. Monte, Monte, the mosquitoes are getting you. They're not getting me as bad anymore. Oh, all right, Monte. So, uh, as far as Monte goes, when he goes swimming, that soaks him to the bone instantly. When it's been raining, he's probably not that wet underneath because his coat is so thick that it just it kind of rolls off and it stays on the outside. So he actually should be less wet than if he were to go swimming. Here, Monty, even though we've been in the rain all day. So I'll definitely have to towel dry him here and then we'll do some brushing later. But right now, his outside is a little wet. So we need to, we need to make sure that's 
But you never know, some might have got through. But we definitely need to... Monty sure loves getting dry after being wet. He likes to get wet, but then he loves to get dry. I think I can finally sit down, drink some water, start making... Fish just jumped out there. Oh! What the heck is that? I don't think I'll eat anything tonight because I just had a fish dinner last night, so... We'll just fish for funsies. Monty, that is a nice spike. Monty, they are... They're getting them in his eyes. He just sits there and he's just like got one eye half closed and he doesn't do anything about it. Poor guy. Don't worry, Monty. It is time to enjoy ourselves with some snacks. Oh, heaven to Bootski. I think we're going to have an early dinner this evening and eat many a snacks. What do you say? Early dinner, Monty? Yeah. You'll always eat whenever. I know. I know. I should have brought out more. I should have brought out tea. I had to bring out tea. I brought out four packs of hot cocoa and I drank two of them. I'm going to save the other two for a long day tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I should have brought out tea because a hot cup of tea sounds nice. Coffee, that's too much. Too much caffeine for right now. We want to be winding down. I mean, I would love a cup of coffee. Don't get me wrong. It's just, I don't want the caffeine right now. So much crap everywhere. Okay. Let's see what this place has got. Got that. Do you stay right there? You're perfect. Okay? Absolutely perfect. Man, I don't like that they get you right in your eyes. I guess that's the only really exposed spot on him is his just little eyeballs. They're just so small, Monty. I don't want them to be attacked and the blood sucked out of them. They your eyes might get smaller. And I wouldn't want your eyes to get smaller, would we? Oh, they're in your lip, too. Now I'm getting Monty blood all over my hands. It's okay, Monty. I do this for you. I protect you. I'm here to protect you. Now we got, I think this is, is this the snack bag? I don't know, the snack bag is getting low. We've only got... Some turkey jerky, butterball, spicy Thai tender cuts, sweet and spicy barbecue pork. Oh, I got some crunchies. Oh, we can have a captain's wafer. We gotta save some of our crunchy snacks. Okay, Monty. One thing I like about crunchies with Monty is he actually chews them and can taste them. Unlike the beef jerky, he just swallows it whole. He actually, he's got to chew the crunchies. Logically, I it's better that it stopped raining and I can kind of dry stuff out a little bit. But. I still would like, I would not mind being huddled inside the tent 
listening to the rain. It's just, oh no! Dang it, I just spilled crumbs everywhere. That's, that's my bad. I don't like doing that. Um, yeah, I, I, I love relaxing. Just the rain on the, the, the rain fly or the tarp. It's just so peaceful. Just huddled up in the tent. I don't know, I love that sort of stuff. So I wouldn't mind that, but I'll take this as well. Because now we can get it. I'm already just, everything is definitely air dried out a little bit. I'm dry. I could be dry. But, you know, that's how it goes. The weather be the weather. Ooh, I saved a whole brick of cheese for the next two days. There's some kind of bird flying around in the tree. It's like a big bird and their wings look kind of yellow and he just keeps going back and forth. There's that bird. Right there. That's what it keeps going to. Its babies are in there. I know it's a myth that moms won't go back to their babies. I can't see. So I'm just gonna reach in there and grab them because I know you can, that's a myth. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. See anything in there? Sweet, sweet Paschetti. <coughs> Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Spaghetti. Oh, it's still hot. Mm. How does it stay hot so long?
Dang it. It's been like 45 minutes or more. And it's still just too hot. I need to stick it in this wind. Mr. Monty here has had a tough day. He is just just laying back like a little turd. Um, so I looked at oh, the map for tomorrow, and it's not as bad as I originally thought. Uh, it's like 10 portages. I'd say like six of them are like half mile-ish, quarter mile, half mile to a quarter mile. Uh, and then some like eighth of milers. And then maybe like one or two teeny tinies. So it's it's really not terrible. It won't be that bad. But uh Yeah. We'll probably still try to get up a little early. I mean I'm I'm on track to go to bed early at least, or at least lay down, because I'm about to smash a spaghetti and then I mean Monty's tired. I'm a little pooped. You know? And, uh, yeah, I'll probably lay down there. I don't know if I'll fall asleep right away. I might read my book or something like that. But, uh, speaking of poops, something weird's been going on. Because I've been double pooping every day. Noon and midnight, pretty much. Well, morning, right before my coffee and oatmeal. And then the past couple nights, like midnight. Like, right, like I'm about getting ready for bed and I have to wake up and poop. That's the worst. I never poop two times a day. I don't know what's going on. I tried to resist today. It didn't work so good. Oh, but yeah. Double pooping. No good. A lot of birds flying around. Clouds. Look at this. Got those little bubbles over there. And then you come up here and you got these crazy clouds. Look at those little cotton swabby cotton balls. And it was looking crazy over here a minute ago, but these have changed a little bit. We might get some weather still. I don't really know what these little bubbly clouds mean, but uh, anytime they're bubbly, I usually contribute it to storms. I would love a thunderstorm tonight. I would just absolutely love it. I love it. I love a thunderstorm. I love one. Come on now. Come on now, Mother Nature. Give me a thunderstorm or some rain or something. We're already set up. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Look at this poor guy. He's got a bug in his eye. This is what he's been doing. He's like he's just squinting. They're just like eating his right in his eyes here. I have to I have to be on guard the whole time. Monty. Don't worry, Monty. I'm going to get him for you, okay? Every chance I can, I've been protecting you. I think that's why he's just letting it happen. He's just like, Dad, I'll just get it. I don't even have to worry about it. I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to, don't even have to breathe. He'll breathe for me. Maybe not breathe. Okay. I should probably breathe. Monty, wouldn't it be awesome to just... <sighs> if we get a thunderstorm today, I'll probably wake up and record some of it. Been a long time since I camped through a good thunderstorm. Mmm, okay. 
Mm. That's more reasonable now. Well, I think this is going to be one of the earliest nights I've ever, like, laid down. Uh, yeah, this is normally something I don't do, but I did get up kind of early today. I was only... I, yeah, I got up earlier today. I was only a half hour behind the early, early day I did, that long day. So today was another longer day. So, yeah. I don't mind. I mean, getting to bed early, then I can get up early. You know, I have more day. If we have a... Tomorrow, I wouldn't mind a fish dinner. Uh, I didn't want one today, so I wasn't worried about it. But, yeah. I'm going to just finish up this spaghetti here. Then I'll probably take all my stuff that's hanging and just kind of put it under the tarp here. Just so that if, in case it does rain, it doesn't get re-soaked. But then we're going to get in that tent and just get to chilling. Monty's ready for bed. After I eat this, I'll be ready for bed. It's going to feel weird being in the tent like right, like for the night before it's dark. But the sun just set, so... It's starting to get dark, and like it looks like there could be some rain coming. It's just like solid color that way. I just really hope we get a storm. That'd be awesome. I would love a thunderstorm. Make me sleep like a baby. And then we'll try to get up and get early and get moving. We got a thunderstorm coming. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. There's some nice bolts. Ooh, it could be heading right this way. Oh, that was a good one. Oh man, that is a big storm cloud. Ooh, hoo, hoo. This could be a big storm. I'm gonna make sure everything's secure. <laughs> I was about to just jump back inside there and get ready for 
laying down. But I feel like I want to watch this for a minute here. I mean, it's covering left to right, like all the way over there is lightning. All the way to the left, I can see lightning. Damn, I did get a storm coming in. Why do I feel water on you, huh? Yeah, we're 100% ready for bed, so I can kind of watch this for a minute here. There's wind coming. I'm just kind of excited for that first crack of thunder. I hope this isn't just heat lightning. I hope this is a storm that's about to like hit us. Sometimes they miss you too. But there's some good bolts. I just looked over and I saw one that went all the way across the sky and I was just like, ooh. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Ooh, yeah. Oh, this. This could be a good storm. This is outdoor entertainment, like camp campsite entertainment. <laughs> oh, that, that was a weird one. That one was like a hook to the left. You can't even capture the whole sky. Whoa! That was crazy! Whoa! understood when like lightning's off in the distance and like you never hear the thunder and it never comes is that like just lightning that's just that far away because I remember it being called heat lightning like does that just mean it's just whoa you know I never really I never really looked into that but this it seems like it's getting closer and bigger and more often so I think this is headed for us this, this is this could be if that oh man if this comes right over this is gonna be dangerous I'm, I'm in a bunch of trees uh oh all right mother nature you can you can slap us around just just don't strike us down please not tonight please don't strike us down I mean I'm cool with like a crazy storm and like insane thunder and lightning and, but just don't don't be the final storm please could you do that solid for me in Monty too oh it's, 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 this is wonderful oh man it is, it is encompassing a 180 of the sky so like we are in the center of this especially with the way the wind's blowing if this is a storm moving it's gonna hit us that's for sure oh man that's crazy oh the sky is going nuts Ooh, I'm, I'm a little intimidated, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, Monty. like it's coming our way. Whoa! 
Seems like it's going to. Oh. <laughs> Give me this. Yeah, I think in a, in, in about hour or two, this is going to be over, passing over us. And we are going to be. Oh, man. That was the first big rumble of thunder. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna blast us. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just nervous. Oh, I can't even explain it. There's nothing that makes you feel smaller than a, this storm that looks like this coming for you. This cloud's coming right over top of us. Like, right over us. This is coming directly for us. Yeah, that's coming right over top of us. This is some of the craziest. Just... Oh, jeez. Yep, Monty. Oh! Man. And you, I can just see it looks like there is just torrential downpour with the. Oh gosh. I hope we have a good spot. Oh man. I don't know. Oh my gosh. That is some serious rain. beginning. Well, it's about time we go climb into our tent and uh, <laughs> hope everything holds up. All right. Yep. The rain is starting. It's big droplets. I don't want to ruin my camera. So Record the rest of inside the tent. I realize I have a tarp for a reason, so 
This is one of the crazier storms I've seen, so I want to watch it a little bit longer. Oof. I'm just getting nervous thinking about how much rain is going to get dumped on us. I'm in a decent spot. I'm on slight. I put myself on a slight hill because it was raining. I got a grassy bottom, so I'm not in a mud hole or pool. So it shouldn't pool up underneath me at all. I just hope. What a idea. Oh, jeez. It's lightning all around now. quick I just want to show how into it we are that's to the to my right this is straight ahead and over to our left it's off in the distance there's a bunch of trees there but this crazy thunder is coming from our right I'm not sure exactly which way is coming straight for us. Something of this is. I think it's this to the right. Ooh, geez. Ooh, the wind's starting to pick up. Yeah, this to the right looks a little crazy in the thunders. Oh man, this is just like fireworks. I guess the 4th of July is coming up. Uh, Ooh, the wind's starting to pick up. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. <laughs> I think that with that... Oh, jeez, okay. It's about to head... Holy crap. All right, it's above us now, and the lightning's like getting above us, so I'm heading in the tent. We are at least, ooh, insulated from the ground on our sleeping pads, more than standing up. Okay, yeah, this is, this is about to be above us, so we need to get inside.
Monty. I'm just laying here in awe. I haven't got a thunderstorm like this in a long time. I'm gonna record a bunch of this. I'm recording so much of it. I wanna be able to... I mean, once the lightning got over top of us, it wasn't really safe to <laughs> sit out there anymore. Like right now we've got, at least we're on our sleeping pads. Uh, I'm on my car as well, but it's at least some insulation from if lightning strikes near us, it's better than being on the straight ground. That's about it. A uh, little insulation will help. But, uh, yeah. We're just gonna sit here and listen to this the rest of the night. Uh, I'll record. You know? when things get crazier. I'm just gonna, you know, keep recording. I'm not gonna do any more chatting, but, uh, yeah. We are gonna just let the storm take us to sleep. So, I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody.